Okay, man, this is really a crazy situation right here because we have Chastin Wire, you know, snapping on Boozy for supporting Melly and going for the trial and stuff like that, which is really crazy. You get what I'm saying? Because we had so many situations like this where we've seen our rappers trying to support someone that is being accused of, you know, committing all these crazy crimes and stuff like that, even without being sure if these people really did it or not. You get what I'm saying? So we have um, Justin Wire going off on Boozy, you know, saying F Boozy for, you know, what Boozy is really representing and standing for you get what i'm saying so before we get into the clip man do me a favor smash the like button subscribe to the channel turn on notification bell so you all get notified whenever i drop a new video go ahead and check out this clip buck boosie buck boosie now i want to fight again yeah i want to fight boosie again no 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 i was yeah 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 boosie yeah, get, take the fight. I want to fight Boosie again. He want to stand with the killer. I'm with the victim family. Victim versus killers. I'm with the victim family versus the nigga that kill people. That's the side I'm on. So you can be on the right side if you want to, or you can be on the wrong side. Your children go pay for it. You see how dumb little Tootie is? Your children go pay for this shit. You think you, listen, one of them mother kids go, Lucy, how dumb Tootie is? You saw him on the breakfast club. And then you, yeah, no, no, no. Somebody go pay for your sins, fathers. You ain't paying for them. So somebody got to pay for them sins. Somebody got to pay for them sins, man. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, 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 no, no. I don't want to hear nothing about nothing. You lying to me if you think that boy need to be free. You can look at it long as, look at that forehead. The boy look like a demonic vessel. Don't nothing human, don't boy, no, man. Any nigga that can ride in the car with two dead friends and, no, man. No, man. Everybody, man, listen, you can't kill people and think you ain't got to pay. You nigga want to be able to kill with no consequences. You nigga want to be able to kill and come function and operate amongst regular people as if this is normal, okay to take people alive. Man, no, this shit, no, man, y'all niggas got to be fucked up. You got two black families, even if he didn't do it. Let's just give this little ugly motherfucker the benefit of the doubt. Even if he didn't do it, we still ain't going to show no compassion to the mother who got these dead. Come on now. We, ain't, we just going to turn a cold shoulder to them and just say, hey, free the killer. Free the killer. But then when one of these killing motherfuckers get killed, y'all long little king, oh, V-Roy, V, when one of these kick long little Mo 3, man, but one of them get killed, now y'all got turtles, now y'all got a heart, no, keep this same motherfucking heart, nigga, when it's time for the killer to go to jail, let's not free the killer, let's say nigga go be tough in jail. Go down there and kick some niggas ass, boy. Show up what you were talking about in them goddamn lyrics. No, don't free the killer. Let him go show up he can do what he said he can do in these goddamn lyrics without the gun. That way when he come back, we'll love him to death. Boy, we come back and find out he was down there doing like Fleece Johnson was doing. Hey, Fleece Johnson need to say TTV interview. Say, say, Fleece Johnson is out of jail. Fleece Johnson is out of jail, y'all. I want to interview Okay, man, you all heard what Justin Wild just said about this situation with Melly and uh, Boozy trying to support Melly and all the stuff that is going on right now. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, we are going to get into this reaction one time. You get what I'm saying? Uh, you already know how I feel about these situations like this. Just like with the same situation with Takeoff. You get what I'm saying? We have seen so many people supporting Quavo and, uh, and uh, the people that hosted a private event where Takeoff lost his life. You know, we have seen so many situations, man. And it's really crazy, crazy, crazy situations because it doesn't really make no sense, man. If we we'll keep on glorifying all this violence, if we we'll keep on supporting all these crimes, if we we'll keep on supporting this kind of stuff, because listen up, first of all, you have to understand that 
You cannot be accused of something that you know nothing about. If you are being seen, we have seen the clip of Melly, you know, jumping inside our same vehicle. And, you know, it's all crazy situations, man. Trust me, it's all crazy situations. And Chaston Y has been the, you know, the last man standing in the entertainment industry. As long as I'm alive, I'll keep on saying this, man. You have to give it all for Chaston Y because this is the only man that we know that always comes out to call a spade a spade. Get what I'm saying? He is not afraid of no one. He's not following any street code. He is just a man uh, who stands for justice. You get what I'm saying? He's the only one that called out uh, 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 Jay Prince, Jay Prince Jr. and everything, you know, that happened to take off. You get what I'm saying? He's the one that is calling all these people out because other rappers are sitting out there looking at the most worst things that are happening in the industry. They are not mentioning it. They are not speaking about it. They are not even telling the truth. Even though they know the truth, they can't use their influence to influence good things. They are only using their influence to influence negative and uh, and uh, and detrimental things. You get what I'm saying? Which is really crazy. You feel me? Which is really crazy. We have seen um, uh, Melly, Melly Spotify growing over 1 million streams uh, or 1 million listeners in the past 24 hours or after he's facing the double murder trial and stuff like that so my question happens to be who are those people going to listen to the song of this young man listen up that's why violence can't stop you know within uh between black people or within black people because listen up this stuff is what people are really interested in these are the things that people really want to pay attention to so this man is being accused of killing people and the next minute he's uh, all of a sudden getting all these fans over 1 million listeners after he's you know he's facing the double murder trial he's getting over 1 million listeners listening to his song so tell me why the violence will stop tell me why the crimes is going to stop because Another rapper out here, another Dre rapper out here is, is watching what's happening to Melly and they are about to go or uh, thinking about doing the same thing that Melly did so they can get famous, so that you know their Spotify streams can go up, so they can blow up. Trust me. And this is what we are supporting out here. It's really disheartening for real. You get what I'm saying? But you all tell me what you all think about this crazy situation, man. But remember, everything said in the video remains allegedly. You get what I'm saying? Because the video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So, catch you guys on the next clip.